up guys welcome back to the DVXL channel it's been a while since we posted um we're going to introduce a new concept which is going to be a weekly premier league preview obviously we didn't start last week because there wasn't a full round of games this week we have the full 10 games um what we would do is we'll spend no more than three minutes on each game so depending on how many pundits we've got here we break that down into seconds so at, currently there's five of us which works out 36 seconds per game what we would do, we would give uh, a player to watch, a random prediction, a correct score, and uh, our entertainment value out of 10 for the game. So, just reintroducing everybody, obviously, Martin, David, Akeem, Big Mike's, Regan. So, what we're going to do is we're going to um, go in order of play online so the first game is everton v right, my player to watch is richarlison last game he didn't score he was a bit of a problem for the opposition but he didn't score so i think he's gonna have a good game i think there'll be two or more first half goals um i think it'll be a good game so my entertainment value will be eight out of ten and my score prediction is three one to everton okay same game everton v west brom my player to watch james rodriguez has come from real madrid he's looked really good in his first debut game he has think, definitely thinks he's one to watch. Um, random prediction, Patrick Calvin Lewin. He's already got off the mark, I think, with the ammunition uh, and the assist he's got around him, the players he's got around him, he will score, definitely score more goals. Entertainment value, 8 out of 10. I think it will be a decent game. And correct score, score prediction, 3-1. Everton. Well, everyone done. I'm assuming everyone's going to play. He's coming really good. Big signing for... Not a top six club. I say Evans gonna win both halves. Still, I can score down. You know. I think Evans gonna come to win it three one. I think West Brom will score score a goal within their second game. Or is they gonna be in big trouble for the rest of the season? Three one. Right. Big Mike, over to you. Okay. Okay. My player to watch, James Rodriguez again. He's just come from uh, come from the Liga. Excellent player. Bundesliga. Yeah, Bundesliga. 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 He's a nice guy. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. Se se uh, <laughs> um, I oh, think that there might be a red card in that match. I think Hammers might get a red card just to get used to the Premier League. You know what I'm saying? Entertainment value. I'll give it a six. Correct score. 2 1 Everton. <laughs> Switched out <laughs> okay, and last but not least, Akeem, same game. Um, you time it, David time it, yeah. Yeah, so my player to watch for this game is going to be Grady Diangona. I watched him in the championship last season, he's a skillful player, so I think he's going to cause Everton wing backs a problem. My random prediction I'll say, um, Yerry Mina will get a red card. I'll say the enter. The entertainment. The entertainment one is going to be five. I think it's just going to be <laughs> keep going. Come keep on, going, keep going. An average game five out of ten. Yeah. The correct score two 0 two 0 to West Brom. West Brom. Yeah. Two 0 to West Brom. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Moving on now to the second game, which is Leeds United v Fulham. Um, my player to watch is Jack Harrison. I know he came from Man City, then he went to MLS and scored a really good goal against Liverpool last week. Um. I think my random prediction is I think Leeds will score at least two goals. So I'm saying Leeds two or more goals. I think it'll be an entertaining game, so I'm going to go for nine out of ten. And once again, my score prediction is 3 1 to Leeds. Over to you, David. Oh, let me turn that. Yeah, go. Same game, Leeds v Fulham. My player to watch is Costa from Leeds. Um, obviously, one of the one of the exciting players in the Premier League with the winger, I think he'll do well um, and have a standout performance. Um, no goals in the first half as a random prediction. 7 out of 10, ready for the game, and the scoreline would be 2-0 for Leeds United. Home win. Yeah. Um, same game, over to Regan. I League. still think it's a championship battle, it's not really a Premier League battle. The player to watch has got to be Mitrovic. I think he's from the star man. If he don't get double figures this season, for them in big trouble. Like I said, championship battle, I'd say three or more yellow cards. For me, it's going to be an interesting, fun game, you know, big tackles. So I'll give it 8 out of 10. I still think these will come up comfortably 2 0. 
Finolit. Finolit. Okay, uh, over to you, Michael. Okay, um, Leeds versus Fulham. Come on. Oh, what? Actually, look at it still. Mitrovic will score. Oh, no, no. Your player to watch is Mitrovic. The prediction 2 0 in the first half to Leeds. Okay. The entertainment value, I think I'll give it an 8 out of 10. The correct score 4 2 Leeds. 4 2. Ooh, what do you lead? And Hakeem, same game? So what, that's Leeds versus Fulham, yeah? Yep. So, yeah. so I'll say the, my player to watch will be Rodrigo because he just came from Valencia. He's a, he's a good technical techni technical player. So yeah, I'll say like, my player to watch is Rodrigo. My random prediction, I'll say both teams will score in the first half. Okay. And um, the entertainment volume, I'll say it's going to be like an 8 out of, eight of, eight out of 10. Yep. And, uh, the correct score, I'll say 3-2, three, 3-2 two, three, two to Leeds. Now we're moving on to Manchester United, which is Michael's team against Crystal Palace. Um, my player to watch is Anthony Martial. I think there's a really good player in there and I just think he needs to be consistent. I've got a feeling that this is going to be his game. Um, my random prediction is a clean sheet for Manchester United. Oh, sorry, a clean Man United as well. Um, entertainment value, I think it'll be a 7 out of 10. I think that'll be the entertainment will come from Manchester United more so. And my score prediction will be 2 0 Manchester United. Over to you, David. Okay, same game. United United versus Crystal Palace. My player to watch will be Fernandez. He's coming at the back end of last season. Outstanding player, I think, personally. And he's virtually transformed the team. He's dragged the team up a level, I think. Um, random prediction Man United come from behind to win Ooh. so uh, entertainment value will be 7 out of 10 scoreline will be 2-1 to Man United interesting over to you Manchester United recruit the Palace so Man United versus Palace my um, player to watch is Abir Eze new sign of the Palace championship he's done very well Exciting old player, likes to take on players, and with many nice shape of defence, he could cause in danger. A round of prediction would have um, two corners each, each half. Uh, may not good going forward, Palace need to show up. I would give it a 6 out of 10 for a game, but correct score, I'd say, I'll give it to the main night 2-1. 2-1? 2-1. Okay. Can I just say, before we go any further, you said Eze and you said Rodrigo, but yeah. I don't think they'll start. Is it? No, I don't, not yet. I don't think they'll start. So I can understand why you picked them, but I don't think they're going to start. But yeah, yeah. you never know, they might come on and still be the first one. Mm -hmm. um, okay, over to you, Michael. Ready? Okay, yeah. Manchester United, your team, the Palace. Let's go. Manchester United versus Crystal Palace. The player to watch, the god of Manchester United, Bruno Fernandes. Oh, God, you know. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes has turned the team around at Man United. He's one of the best yeah, players in the world. He's a, he's, he's, he's a club legend. Yep, he's a club legend. Entertainment value. Oh, legend, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, no Random prediction. I think Man United will definitely get a penalty. Okay. Oh, yeah. Entertainment <laughs> value, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. Correct score. For no Man United. Okay. That's not a random prediction because you know Man United. Yeah. <laughs> that's a guarantee. That's Liverpool, isn't it? Last minute goals. You know, right, Akeem, another Man United supporter. Yeah. So, so we'll go over to you. Yeah. So my, my player to watch for this match, I'll say is Paul Pog, Paul Pogba because like he's, I think like this, he got something to prove this season because last season he, he didn't really do much. So I'll say, yeah, Paul Pogba. My random prediction is like Crystal Palace is going to score first, as what David said. Okay. And uh, entertainment value, I'll give it like a 7 out of 10 for team. Man United is going to come back and score 3 goals in the second half. Okay. And um, yeah, I'll say the correct score is going to be 3 1. 3 1 Man United. Yeah, 3 1 United, oh. yeah. United, yeah. We move yeah. on to Arsenal v. Mine and Davies team, West Ham United. <laughs> Are we ready? Okay. Right. <laughs> My players to watch is Ryan Fredericks and Abamyang because one is right back, one is left wing. I do not rate Ryan Fredericks at all and I highly rate Abamyang. People will see how terrible Fredericks is. So my player to watch for this game is Abamyang against Fredericks. 
I think there will be two first half goals. I think entertainment value will be a 9 out of 10, but which will be more so if you're an Arsenal fan. And my correct score prediction is 4 1 to Arsenal with a heavy heart. Ooh, just on time, just on time. Push it down, eh? No, yeah. it'll be fine because we're, we're cut. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah it's a one. Oh, yeah, this is just rough. So, okay, same game. Um, Arsenal v West Ham. Um, I must add this. Come on, you hammer. <laughs> come, on, come on, you hammer. Um, a player to watch, Michael Antonio. Um, it's a London derby. I think he'll be up for this game, and I, I could see him scoring at least a goal, if not assisting one. Um, yeah, as well. So I think he'll have a good game. Um, random prediction. I think we'll, there'll be a goal inside the first 10 minutes. Um, entertainment value, 8 out of 10. And scoreline, bang, those are 2-2 two, 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 two draw. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I think it'll be a draw. I love the derby. West Ham will get the first points. Yeah, of course. <laughs> the same game. Yeah, Arsenal v West Ham, over to you, Regan. So, Arsenal vs West Ham. People may know, I hate West Ham. Yeah, They'll be seeing us next season when they get relegated. God bless. Player to watch is William. You know, them three assists don't go unnoticed. You know, he's a big player for them now. My round of prediction, Noble and Jacques are both getting carded. Red card? Card, yellow. Red. Oh, okay. Just both getting oh, both carded. Of them. Yeah. I think it's going to be a good game, like tackles, fouls, cards, goals. I put 3 no Arsenal. And what's your entertainment value? 9 out of 10. Oh, 9 out of 10. And 3-0 Arsenal. Yeah, sure. I said 4 Okay, right. Same game, over to you, Big Mike. Okay. Arsenal versus West Ham. Well, we just know Aubameyang just signed his new contract. Signed a team. So, yeah. that's going to be bonuses in the contract. So, he wants goals. He wants goals. So, that's Aubameyang player to watch. I think red card... Michael Antonio, he's going to be heated up, he's going to want to score a goal and he's going to, that's, you know what I'm saying? So Antonio to get a red? Antonio to get a red. Entertainment value, 9 out of 10. Okay. That, yeah, that's me. Score prediction. 2 no Arsenal. 2 now. Okay. And once again, over to you, Akeem. Yeah, so my player to watch here yeah, is going to be William for Arsenal because last week he got what? Actually, the Rassis. Yeah. So yeah, I'll awesome. say William. <laughs> and um, my random prediction, I'll say Felipe Anderson is going to come off the bench and score a goal as well. Okay. Yeah, I'll Please see. Cross once again. <laughs> the entertainment value, I'll give this like an 8 out of 10 because you know, most of the defense for these two teams is not really the best. So I'll say, yeah, it's going to be, might be like rows of rows. Yeah. And, um, the correct score, I would say, 4-2 four, four, Arsenal. 4-2. Four, yeah. yeah. At home to Spurs. My player to watch is going to be Danny Ings. He didn't, he wasn't really sort of prominent in the last game. But I think this game, Tottenham going to be a bit nervous because they lost their first game. So I'm going to go for Danny Ings, player to watch. I think both teams will score. That's my random prediction. The game, entertainment value, I'm going to say 8 out of 10. And for my correct score, I'm going to go for hey, two. Over to me, um, Southampton to Tottenham. Um, player to watch, I think it would be Harry Kane. I think thus far, we've seen a shadow of the player. Um, with everything that's happened, everybody knows the teams are not up to full speed yet. But I think Harry Kane will have a good game, probably score a few goals. Um, random prediction, four yellow cards. Entertainment value, seven out of ten. And the score line will be 3-1 Tottenham. And Regan, same game. So, Southampton, Tottenham. Lamar, I'm going to go for Danny Ings as a player. How many goals he score? 20 plus goals. He needs to do that again. He needs to prove himself, especially in these international call ups. I'm going to go for my round position is dead head against centre. He's just a very hot head player, yeah. Um, it's going to be a boring game, though. I say 5 out of 10. Yeah. But I'm going to go for underdogs as Southampton 1 0. Four Fingers crossed again for that. <laughs> Top them, please, please. Um, what a Regan? Big Mac. Okay. Southampton, Tottenham. Well, Jose Mourinho has heated up now. You know he can't lose another match. Okay. So, my player to watch. And so? That's my player to watch. Prediction? Four yellow cards in that match. Same with Davy. Four yeah. yellow cards. Um, entertainment value? Five out of ten. When you say four yellow cards, do you mean exactly four? Exactly four. Okay, yeah. Is that what you meant? Yeah. Right? Okay, yeah. Exactly four. Correct score. 
Two no top man. Two no top man. Two no top man. Okay. Akeem, same game. Yeah, same game, yeah. So my player to watch for this match, this match, I'll say it's Nathan Redmond. Mm -hmm. I think he's gonna give Tottenham defense um a like a Tory time. A Tory time because of his speed and the lot lot lack speed in the, in the defense. And I'll say um my random prediction, I'll say Eric Dyer is gonna get a red card. Um entertain the game, entertainment volley, I'll say it's gonna be like six out of ten. Correct score, I'll say like one nil to Southampton. As what Regan said, I'm always rooting for underdogs, so yeah, I'll say one nil Southampton. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Newcastle v Brighton. My player to watch is Saint Maximin. The guy is a baller, tricks for days. Obviously, he's just played against West Ham, and I saw what he's capable of doing. He's a really good player, so he's my player to watch. I think there'll be three or more goals in the game. My entertainment value will be 8 out of 10. I think it'll be a good open game. And I'm going to go for Newcastle to win 2 1. Brighton, same game. Um, and it's not coincidence that my player to watch is the same one, same Maxim. I think the kid is a star in the making. That's personally my opinion. I think he would definitely be a big player in the Premier League and wherever he goes. Um, random prediction. I think the scores will be level at half time. I mean, that's a bit of a uh, easy one to say. It could be nil nil, could be one one, but I think it's going to be level at half time. Um, entertainment value 7 out of 10. And score prediction 2 0 Newcastle. Bang on. Regan. So Newcastle Brighton, I've gone for Callum Wilson as my player. Similar to Danny Ings, you know, international called up, he's got proven himself. New transfer. Scored last week. Scored last week, you know, people are looking at him. Um, my round predictions, all goals will come in the second half. I'm going to have to give a high rating of 9 out of 10 because I'm going to give it a 3-2 win for Newcastle. All second half as well. Five goals in second half. Okay. Michael. Okay. Newcastle versus Brighton. My player to watch as well is St. Maximus. <laughs> well. He's going to give defenders a problem with his speed and everything. You know how he is already. That guy's just a baller. Yeah. Um, prediction. I think the goals will start coming in in the second half. Correct score, 4 0 Newcastle. Ooh. Entertainment, um, sorry, correct score. You just said 4 0. Did I say 4 0? Yes, so what's your entertainment value? So I have to give it maybe 8 out of 10 now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's your plan. You're not just freestyling. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, that's slipping, Eddie. Akeem, someone who. Yes, yeah. got that football knowledge. All right then. What? I have a <laughs> Listen to this there. Go. All right. My player to what I was going to go with St. Maxim. Okay. Well, I'm going to change oh. my mind and go with, based on what I seen last night, Tyree Clamp, Lamptey, oh. right in the right back. Yeah. But I think he played well against his former team, Chelsea, and he did well. I think he got an assist as well. So I'll say Tyree Clamp is my player to watch. My random prediction, I'll say a Newcastle player is going to get a red card. The entertainment value is going to be, I'll say, Eight out of ten is going to be like loads of goals, and I'll say the correct score is going to be 40 Brighton. 40 Brighton? I've got yes, a lot to say about this one. Oh, yeah, trust yeah. me, I've got That's a lot it. to say about this one. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to change my right. mind now, though. Okay, Chelsea v Liverpool. Let me get the time. No, you did. Go I'm going to change my first and after team. Right, my player to watch is Sadio Mane. The reason why I say that is because last game, uh, Salah was the main guy, so I've just got a feeling that this time round he's going up against probably Reese James and whoever they play at centre back on the next to Reese James is they're not going to be able to handle Sadio Mane, so he's my player to watch. I think both teams will score, that's my random prediction. I think it'll be a good game. Chelsea's at home. Uh, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10, and uh, the correct score I'm going 3 2 Chelsea. Okay, same game, Chelsea v Liverpool. Um, my player to watch is Timo Werner. I know we saw him the other day, obviously they've just come into the league. It'll take a little while to start him, but the guy is quality and I think he will, he will run Liverpool a bit. He'll run them regular bit, he might even get a goal. Um, random prediction, Liverpool leading at half-time. Um, entertainment value, 8 out of 10. And the correct score will be 2-2. Two, two. Mm -hmm. Over to you, Regan. So, Chelsea-Liverpool. I had Timo Werner as my player, but 
after seeing Havertz's performance last week, he's going to be mine. He needs to step up. He had a poor game. My random prediction, Georgina's going to score a penalty. He needs to stop. Like Bruno. <laughs> it's not. It's going to be a good game, you know. Both teams are going to want to score. I'm going to give it an AR10. I'm going to go with um, Martin Liverpool's defence, 2-0 Chelsea. 2-0 Chelsea. Okay. Uh, this 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 one should be interesting. Michael. <laughs> Big Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Hello guys. Um, <laughs> Chelsea versus Liverpool. My player to watch. Kepa is my player to watch. Mm. The goalkeeper. Um I think second half there'll only be one goal. Yeah. So my correct score, one nil Chelsea. And what about the entertainment value? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. So you're saying Kepa is going to have a good game? Kepa is going to have a good clean sheet. Clean sheet. Clean sheet. Okay, that is a random prediction. So you're waiting 45 minutes for a goal. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Ready? Same game. Yeah. Alright, so my player to watch is going to be Timo Werner. I watched him last night. He looks sharp and fit. So I'll say Timo Werner. My random prediction, I'll say um, Van Dijk is going to score from a set piece. Entertainment value, I'll say it's going to be like 7 out of 10. Correct score, I'll say it's going to be 1-1. Yeah, next home to Burnley. My player to watch is Harvey Barnes, um, the winger. He's got all the attributes to be a top player in the Premier League. He's fast, uh, he's skillful, he gets assists. He needs to score more goals, but I think he's going to cause Burnley problems um, when they play. My random predictions, I think Leicester will keep a clean sheet. Entertainment value, I think the game will be okay. I don't think Burnley's going to come with much. I'm going out for a 7 out of 10. And my score prediction is Leicester 2, Burnley 0. player to watch will be Jamie Vardy. It's a bit like fine wine, I think. Yeah, I think he just gets, he keeps getting better and better, better doesn't he? Yeah, with age. Um, random prediction, red card to Burnley. A uh, Burnley player, I think, will get a red card. Um, entertainment value, 7 out of 10. And score prediction, 3-1 Leicester. Mm -hmm. Reading? So Leicester versus Burnley. I'm going to go with Jamie Vardy as well. You have sense, that's why you're going to <laughs> You have sense, he yeah. has on fire when it comes to goal scoring. It's going to be, I think, less than dominate my round prediction. Less than have 65 plus percent possession all game. Mm -hmm. Burnley very defensive. I think it's going to be a boring game, you know. Like I said, Burnley are defensive. Because of that, I'm going to give it 2 0 Leicester. What about entertainment value? 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10. And 2 0 Leicester. Did I say 2 0 Yeah. Okay, Big Mike. Big Mike. Uh, hi, guys. hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Leicester versus Burnley. Okay. Jamie Vardy has heated up at the moment. He wants to prove a point. Who was in trouble with me? <laughs> you could say that at the moment. Yeah. Let's say red card Burnley. Entertainment value. Nine out of ten. Loads of cards are going to be flinging around. Loads of cards are going to be flinging around. Okay. Three nil to Leicester. Jamie Vardy Hatcher. Hey, the king. Yeah, so my player to watch is going to be Dennis Pred for Leicester. I think like having a sharp shooter like Vardy in attack is going to be able to like assist him, or assist, assist him for like loads of goals in that match. As what Michael said, I'll see if Jamie Vardy scoring a hat trick. I'll say um, a random prediction. I'll say uh, Bernie's going to get a red card in the first half. The entertaining value, I would say, like it's gonna be like a nine out of ten. Because whenever I watch Leicester, they're always exciting. And I would say the cor correct score here yeah, is gonna be like four nil Leicester. Four nil Leicester. Aston Villa v Sheffield United. Right, my player to watch, providing he starts, is Ollie Watkins. He's done in the Championship. He played under Dean Smith at uh, Brentford, so they, the manager knows the player. Playing as a manager. He's got a point to prove, obviously, in the Premier League. They paid a lot of money for him, more than I think they would have liked to. So I think he needs to hit the ground running. So he's the player to watch. I think both teams will score. I don't think it'll be a great game. I think it'll be a 6 out of 10. And my correct score prediction is 1-1. One, one. Uh, my player to watch will be Jack Grealish. Um, similar reasons to what Big Mike said about uh, the Bagley Youngs just signed a new contract. Pockets will be heavy with money, <laughs> but no, he's a good player, and I think he will uh, start showing his class. His future is now set, or he, he, he knows he's staying at River. They'll have a big performance, I think, to show the fan, um, fans watching at least, yeah, how good he is. Um, random prediction uh, penalty to Villa, 
Um, entertainment value, seven out of ten, and the correct score, I think it would be a one-one draw. Just on time. Uh, I don't know, I spent so much yeah, time. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> Regan, same game. That's a bit of a Sheffield United. That day, I'm a little British. I don't see much like world-class players in Aston Villa. Greenish is everyone carrying them. He saved them from getting relegated. Brand prediction, Sheffield United getting them goal. I just <laughs> gonna throw one out there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna be a boring game though. Yeah. Five out of ten. Two one Aston Villa. Two one Villa. Okay. Big, big Mike. Big Mike. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> All right, cool. Aston Villa, Sheffield United. I think this is going to be a boring game as well. But my player to watch is Jack, of course. Um, predict. It's going to be a boring game. I think maybe two yellow cards. That's it, really. Entertainment value six out of ten. Yep. Correct score. One 0 Aston Villa. One 0 Villa. That's a shot. Yeah, so for me, my player to watch is going to be Jack Grealish, as what Michael and Regan said. And Andy. 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 And correct score it, nil nil. Nil nil. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, last game. <laughs> Bro. Okay. Right, so last game is Wolves v Man City. Ooh, tasty. Tasty game. Juicy. Right, my player to watch is Adama Traore. The reason why is I think he's good enough for any of the top four, top six teams. Yeah. I want him to show what he can do against. City, who for me are the best football inside in the Premier League. So, he already scored against City as well. Yeah, so yeah, I want him to, to, to turn up for this game. So I think that there's no pressure on him, but I think he wants to prove himself against the big boy. So Adama Traore, my random predictions, I think there'll be four or more goals in this game. I think it'll be a really good game. So entertainment value, I'm going to go for nine out of ten. And my score prediction is 2-2. Two, two. Okay, over to me, Wolves v Man City. This will be a very good game. Um, my player to watch will be Raheem Sterling. I think last season we saw his quality. He's improved so much in regards to goal scoring. I think he'll have a big game. I think he'll score one, maybe an assist, maybe score, maybe even score another. Um, random prediction, there'll be a missed penalty, City. will miss a penalty, not very good from 12 yards apparently. Um, entertainment value, it, it'll be a cracking game, 9 out of 10, I give it. And scoreline, I think, 3 1 Man City. Yeah. Yeah. Vegan. Wolves versus Man City. My pair to watch is Laporte. I think he's a big part of Man City, you know. They're struggling at the back. When he's injured, they crumble. When he's there, they seem solid. Um, around the prediction, I think both teams are scoring both halves. Uh, it's going to be a good game, you know. Wolves like to. Beat these big teams, they do it all last season. I think my series is going to edge it in, uh, I'm going to give it a 4 3. 4 3. Instant early? 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. And 4 3, yeah? 4 3. Four, three. Big Mike, hi. Hey guys. Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> Wolves versus Man City. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Wolves versus Man City. Um, My player to watch, as your boy Davey said, Raheem Sterling. He missed uh, a sitter in the Champions League, so you know he's going to be heated up. You know, Champions League or England? Huh? Oh, yeah. What was that? Yeah, yeah against so, Leon. Yeah. Leon. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So Champions League, League. We're going to show it after this. <laughs> <laughs> he's heated up, so I think maybe we'll go for 4 4. 4 4. Wolves and Man City. 4 4. Okay, you missed. You missed the. Who did I miss? Right. You missed the round of prediction. And I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Okay, so Raheem Sterling, player to watch. Player to watch. Oh God. Random prediction. Random prediction. Four four. That's your random prediction. Yeah, that's my random. Right. Four goals will come in the match. No, eight yeah, goals. Eight sorry. Goals. Eight goals will come. Oh, in okay. The match. Eight goals in the game. Eight goals in the game. Yeah. What else? Like, oh, Instant value. That's, that's ten out of ten. Oh, yeah, then. That's a ten out of ten. And then yeah. the correct score. Four four. Four four. 4-4 four, 5-3 four. Four, four. Oh, No, no, 4-4 four, four. I don't want to say anything else Okay 
Oh. Over to you. And this Adam Tyrone puts Akeem. that baby oil on him. Again. <laughs> Ready, Akeem? Yes, alright. So my player to watch is going to be my favourite player in the league, Ryan Sterling. Oh, I'll say, is he Jamaica? Friends. I'll say my, <laughs> my, my, <laughs> ran <laughs> <laughs> my random prediction is that Oles is going to score in the first 10 minutes. Um, and I'll say the game, the entertainment value is going to be, I'll say, 9 out of 10. I can see like loads of go goals scored in this match. I'll say the correct score is going to be 4 3 Man City. 4 3? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Moving on, guys, what we're going to do is for the final section of this Premier League round review. We're gonna discuss our game of the, I would say weekend, because I know the games are over three or four days. So we're gonna say our game of the round, because it's round two oh, in the Premier League. League. Leeds you Fulham will be the most entertaining game. I think that there's gonna be goals, and it's only the second game in, so it's almost like, yeah, it's a championship game once again. Leeds was, was really good against Liverpool. Fulham letting three goals against Arsenal. So this could, if it follows suit, then if Leeds, if they can score three against Liverpool at Anfield, I know there's no fans, then they're at home to Fulham, who let in three. So I think that's my game. I'm going to pick, if I was a cert for, for entertainment, I'm going to Leeds with Fulham. That's, that's the cert. Um, I'm going to go for Chelsea Liverpool. Um, Chelsea's first game at the bridge, like Martin said, there are no fans. Um, so like all the clubs have got the same thing, it's difficult to play in front of nobody. Um, I just think that if you saw that the back end of last season with the Lampard club thing, I think it's going to be a fiery game. I think they both want to put markers down. Um, so yeah, there'll be goals in it, definitely. Um, Chelsea's defence, I think it's still not pure. We might see a, um, a debut for Thiago Silva as well. So I just think that will be the game of the weekend. Chelsea, Chelsea Liverpool. Chelsea, Liverpool. Game of the weekend. I'm going to go Boston and West Ham for entertainment and like both teams need to show something because entertainment you know okay by now that's going to have to move it's going to be a good game West Ham are going to show that they're not going to be fighting for education you know but then Arsenal are going to show that, that they need to finish in top four, top four top six. Uh, yeah. so, so you're saying that's going to be your game yeah yeah weekend. entertainment wise and they both need to show something from last season, they both have terrible Over to you. Well, through that, no, 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 no. Chelsea, Liverpool. That's your game. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Yeah. Sorry about that. I missed it. Yeah. But whoever wins that match, I think is going to win the Premier League, to be honest with you. Whoa. Whoever you win? Uh, Chelsea, Chelsea, Liverpool. Oh, I was going to say, but United will win the Champions League. We'll get on to that. Oh. Chelsea, Liverpool. That. <laughs> Chelsea, Liverpool. That's the match to watch. Yellow cards, everyone's gonna be scrapping around. That is the match to watch. Whoever wins that match will win the Premier League. And That's remember, you said 1 0. So you're exactly. picking 1 0 as, one your, nil. as whoever, your game of the weekend. Whoever oh. wins that match yeah. wins the Premier League. Okay. They've spent the most, Chelsea have spent the most yeah, money. Yeah. So program. you know you know how it all goes already. If you spend the most money, you'll win something. Okay. Yeah, for me, I'll say Man City versus versus Oves is going to be the most entertaining match because basically man, the main thing is Man City need to send a message to everyone that they're back in business this season because they lost the league to what, 25 points to Liverpool yeah. last season so like, they need to show everyone like oh yeah they're back to win the league this season so I'll say yeah, Man City versus Oves they can't prove a point against Wolves. They need to prove it against a bigger team. Nah, but I would say, oh yeah, they're nah, back nah, on the team. Nah, 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 like nah, yeah, Wolves can do yeah, their thing. Yeah, Wolves can do their thing. And they're away. Yeah, yeah, but last big, nah, big nah, team, they lost twice. So so yeah, that's the yeah, thing yeah. about it. The teams you should be picking up points against, you can't do I don't think Wolves are one of them teams. I don't think people could look like Wolves and say... he's saying they beat them twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wolves is a stubborn team, but... Nah, they're good, man. They should be thinking bigger teams to say the point against Wolves. They need to prove it against a bigger team. No. Wolves can do yeah, their thing. Wolves, 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 Wolves can do their thing. Like they yeah, yeah, but they lost bigger, bigger nah, teams. Nah, they're they're lost. Lost. nah, they're good. They, they're they're good they should be thinking bigger teams. So, to say yes. yeah. so that wraps up our round two of the Premier League preview. Hey guys. Um, bye guys. Just bye. to bye. sign out and hopefully my phone won't get this wrong. Guys, whatever you do in life, if at first you don't succeed, try again. Do better. Oh, hey. my. <laughs> try again. Bye, guys. <laughs> try again. Do <laughs> you know what this is like? I'm going to think you know what this is like. I'm going to think you know what this is like. We'll try again.